Um, and on average, a girl is asked 10 times a night by her classmates, male classmates, for nude and suggestive photos. Now, number one, this is incredibly stressful for the girl who at that age so badly wants to fit in and be popular that they are vulnerable to this. And it, in, she then becomes a producer of child pornography and the boy, he's not getting the picture because he likes the girl specifically. He's getting the picture so he can brag about it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what a vicious cycle that is. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. Yeah. So let's speak to... Uh, which round did I do it last time? Inca first, Sharon second. And which way round was it? Okay, so my question then is, or the uh phrase i'd like you to gather up is something spoken down the barrel of the camera to a younger girl a graduate you know 18 year old whatever it is that's on in this case for me it will be linkedin only but if you're on other platforms speak to the girl who is getting this sort of thing and is so it's so it's like being gaslit because you get the impression that everyone's doing it. Mm. So what would you say Inga, to a young lady starting out in business about social media? I would say, um, remember why you're on the platform and then don't allow somebody else's behavior to change who you are and your behavior um it that is so important because at the end of the day we there's always somebody else that's going to try to influence you and even if they're not trying they can Mm -hmm. they can still influence you right so you need to decide whether it's going to allow allow you to become better or better anything that you face Mm. excellent sharon What I always say to my grandchildren, who are ages 7, 11, and 15, who are very involved in social media, I always say to them, always be a leader, never a follower. Whatever anyone says, listen to your heart. Be a leader. Be the one who stands out. If they all want to just sit around and do whatever they're doing and you want to go babysit and make some money, you go babysit. You set that example. You set it for yourself. You always move forward. You never move backward. I say that to myself also because, you know, in life, we always find the naysayers in general, regardless of what age we are, who are going to make fun of us for what we want to do. Follow your heart, follow your instincts. And I love what you said about being better, not being bitter. And you can only be better by moving straight ahead, listening to your heart and not looking backwards. Your grandchildren are going to grow up particularly well, aren't they? Wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you. But, and you see, if you read books about leadership, you first have to lead yourself and you're giving them that education which is MBA level at seven it's amazing how children have the capacity to understand though isn't it yes they do right in today's day and age you have to be parents grandparents you have to be very strong because our children are so surrounded by different modalities of social media. When I was growing up in Canada in the age of the dinosaur, we had a phone in our house. We did not have computers. We had three channels on our television. Mm -hmm. Uh, Things that my children can certainly not relate to. We didn't have (laughs) Oh dear. So was your telephone underneath the stairs 